Hey guys, so I'm gonna talk about my long distance relationship. Um, this is sort of just an updated video because I probably made one a couple weeks ago. Um, I don't know how many I've made. I probably made one or two. But this is just an updated version on the one that I've made. Um, at that time, I was going through a lot. And I hadn't seen my boyfriend in weeks. It was aggravating me and, you know, just getting on my nerves, you know. And it caused a lot of stress. It caused a lot of depression, and it caused just, you know, just feeling desperate and lonely um, all at one. This is just how I feel, you know, about dating long distance. Um, emotionally, um, I love it. You know, I love being able to have a boyfriend that loves me, you know, somewhere else, even though we're far. You know, he loves me for the, who I am, how I am, and where I am, <laughs> I guess, but, um, physically, I do not love it, I, I just hate, I mean, you know, physically, t being able to touch, feel, kiss, smell, <laughs> that's weird, but, yeah, um, physically being able to have this person in your arms is a lack, and I miss that, I miss sometimes being able to have someone I can hold, like, I hold... A best friend or give my friend a hug you know I just feel like sometimes I wish it was him but it's not you know um, and you know you can't forget that you're um, you you made a commitment to this and you made a promise that you're going to be with this person through thick and thin even if they're not physically there um, I just you know because I'm really young and I probably have less experience in some things that some older people who are in long distance relationships have. Maybe I, um, maybe this will be a little different for you. Maybe, um, because you, maybe older people have the lack in sex life and in, you know, um, going on expensive dates, going out to expensive places, and, for me, for being so young, um, dating long distance is way different than an adult's version of dating long distance. It's not expensive. It does cost. For someone that's, like, you know, has parents on budgets, don't like to spend a lot of money, um, my parents tend to just, you know, some days say, we're done. We're not going to keep taking you far out there to go see him. Um, they're getting tired of it. But I have to find ways to see my boyfriend to make us happy, you know, because if I don't, I feel that I'm going to, you know, end up getting hurt. I mean, not that I think he will. It's just I tend to always get those warning feelings, you know, I mean, those cautious feelings and feel like I'm going to lose the person I'm with because my parents aren't able to help me be happy. I am not the only child in my house and I tend to get, um, I tend to get left out of some things um, since my parents have four children, um, I'm not always able to go see him. Like, um, I did mention in my last video that I, um, uh, one of my videos, maybe it was a review on a snack, that I was, I went on a date a day before that, but, um, I guess I should tell you guys about that date. Maybe I will. Um, it was really fun. You know, that feeling you get, you get butterflies, you get nervous, you get anxiety. I got all those things, and um, I think I got most anxiety because it was so much in one day, and it shouldn't feel like that when you're going to see someone you're dating for more than uh, a month. Um, I got, you know, really anxious and excited, but then I got really, really nervous as if this was the very, very, very first time I was meeting this person, when really it wasn't. It was actually the... I mean, I went to school with my boyfriend, but we didn't talk or anything and really know each other, but, um, but I kind of got that feeling of, like, I just met this person. Sorry about the noise. <sighs> my window's open. Oh my god, no wonder it was so cold in here last night, but, um... Yeah, it's getting really dark. It's going to storm. I think it's going to snowstorm later. But yeah, anyways. Um, you know, it. I get that feeling. And um, first dates are never easy. This is the second date I've ever been on with my boyfriend, which, you know, sounds sad to some people. And they're like, how do you do it? 
<laughs> and you've been dating more than a month. I, you know, just get over the fact that I can't see my boyfriend. That's just something that's not going to happen. And whenever I get the chance, I am a, I am up and ready. I will wake up at 2 in the morning to get a head start on, you know, what I'm going to wear, what I'm going to do to myself, how I'm going to look, just to go see this person. Like, I want to make the every bit of it special. I don't want to be too... I don't try to act like someone I'm not, you know, when I when I'm not with my boyfriend because I don't want him to expect that when he sees me that I'm going to be that way. Um, I try to stay, you know, um, keep the conversations alive a little bit, you know, mixing it up, asking random questions, um, Skyping, you know, phone calls. Um, they aren't always fun to do, and I can't blame my boyfriend for feeling that way. Um, because, I mean, it's kind of sad that we don't get to see each other as much, but, um, I can't blame him for that, because if it were me, I would feel a little, you know, tired of it. We get tired of each other sometimes, um, but for, since, since, ever since we went on our date, it's been a lot better. Our relationship has had ease, it's been really simple, it's been... I mean, not simple, it's been on the normal side, and it's been, um, fun. We haven't been arguing, which I am so thankful for, because we've been arguing ever since our first date, before our second date, and, um, I just, you know, I missed it how we used to be, you know, when we first started dating, how, how live our relationship was, you know, and I got it back, finally, because we got to see each other, and I think when you miss someone so much, you get mad and angry for no reason, and you can't do anything about it, I think that's why I get mad so much, why I got mad so much when, um, before we were dating, because I couldn't see him, and, you know, it killed me, so, um, yeah, but, um, honestly, I... I think that um, a lot of people my age go through that. You know, I mean, some hot guys aren't in your in your town. You know, there's some people that sorry, I'm gonna do it. some people that you don't like that um, that don't live in your town but live in your old town. I moved away unexpectedly from my old town because my mom didn't like where we were living. I don't see why we had such a great apartment, <laughs> but um, yeah, um, but. Honestly, I mean, I wasn't ready to move, and at that time, I wasn't dating the person I'm dating now. I was dating a white boy, but just telling him that I have to leave, you know, it hurts knowing that your boyfriend or girlfriend is going to move away. It hurts knowing that you have, you're in a long-distance relationship. You cannot see this person unless you have a car. You cannot see this person unless your parents are willing to take you to go see him. And you cannot, you know, hang out when you want. You can't cuddle, you know, kiss, hug when you want. And I, you know, I'm. you get most worried and scared when you're not able to be with the person that you're with because you, you always think that um, they're going to end up cheating on you. You're going to, you're going to, um, you're going to have less trust sometimes. But you have to remember that's the person you fell in love with. No matter what, um, I made a promise, and my boyfriend made a promise to me, that we weren't going to ever break up. This isn't our first time dating. We've been off and on long distance. And so, he's probably the best boyfriend I've ever had, just long distance-wise, because, um, a lot of the guys I've dated long distance haven't really been faithful and haven't very, have been very honest, and they lie a lot. But he tends, to, he doesn't lie. My boyfriend does not lie to me. And I don't lie to him. Because I feel lying is just, you know, who would lie? Why lie? But, um, yeah. I think that's all I had to say, just as an update. Um, yeah. But if you guys want more videos on this, maybe I'll make a better one. Um, please comment below. And please subscribe to my channel. Rate if you like. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, and I'm also sorry for the lighting. It's getting pretty dark outside. It's like almost 5 o'clock, I think. Um, but yeah, 
I'll probably make a makeup tutorial next because I've been lacking in that. You know, I haven't made a makeup tutorial ever on my channel. So yeah, see you guys in, next, in another video. Bye. Thanks for watching.